Australia in the innovation field. And I don't think people know enough about it. So I pay tribute to what you're doing today to, to, uh, to bring people together. And you know, I, I think anything we can do to you know, uh, have this industry uh, strengthen and also to let the rest of South Australia and Australia and the world know what you're doing. Um, and I, I'm very happy to be here. I, I know the Premier Jay Weatherall would have, was keen to be here but couldn't make it today. So I, I'm happy to be here representing him as well. And I, I won't pretend to have my finger on the pulse of the gaming industry today. I have a confession to make from the outset. I am a failed gamer. In fact, I am crap. You know, the games on the shelves here are more my sort of games than what most of you do. But I think the last game I was any good at would have been Jet Set Willy on my Amstrad CPC 64, you know, plug, you know, loading it up on the tape, making that you know, funny sound that sounded like uh, you know, the first techno music. So uh, yeah, I, I am in no way an, a gaming expert. Um, but I'm conscious, you know, since my, my day with Jet Set Willy, game development's come a pretty long way. What I do know is that uh, the game development industry is a major player in innovation within the Australian and the global economy. It's always been the case, but it, it is even more so the case now. And as, as, a, as a state government, we know how important it is to our South Australian economy to work to foster the environment that encourages home growth and innovation and entrepreneurship. It's true of any industry, any sector of any industry, but I think there's you can't there's no mistake about it. There is truly unlimited potential for the industry that you're all, all involved in. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't matter where in the world you are, and I think we have some of the uh, the right, right parts of the environment for uh, this industry to succeed from South Australia. Now I know it's not easy to be a good game developer. Um, whether you're highly educated or self-taught there are a massive range of skills required and a great deal of passion as well. Uh, even within the digital creative industries where everyone seems to be a bit of a jack of all trades, game developers tend to be particularly well rounded. You know, the nature of the work I know uh, demands you know, a massive understanding and a huge range of fields. You know, computer science, math, physics, design, art, you know, there are so many elements that go into good, uh, good, good uh, game work and game design. And, and as I said, we're lucky in Adelaide to have the foundations of great creative industries and ecosystem. And I know that there are a number of people in this room who are you know, absolute proof that you can find success on the world, world stage and still be proudly South Australian based in Adelaide. I particularly want to thank Ben Marsh for putting out the invite to me for this event. I know Ben's been instrumental in building the success of ODD Games and uh, I trust that success will, success will continue. And I did try a the monster truck game earlier today. My, my, my staff woke up for me, and it's very hard to do well that game when you're constantly on your roof. Wait, <laughs> what have your staff loaded in? I said them all my games. <laughs> uh, but I played it very badly myself. Uh, and look, and, uh, and, and I was in this room, and, and Greg, I know, yeah, really put Adelaide on the map with Rap Bay Games, and I know your leadership will continue benefit in South Australia and this sector as well in the future. Yeah, along with companies like Mighty Kingdom, Six Foot Kid Enabled, Monkey Stack, I have no doubt that we will hear more and more from these sorts of companies well into the future in South Australia. And it's these broader creative industries that I think are doing well in South Australia. Companies like Rising Sun Pictures that I went to a couple of weeks ago to name one particular success story yeah, I, I just further proof that you can call South Australia home while reaching clients and markets anywhere in the world. Uh, as I said, there's no doubt what you do has great potential. And as, a, as, the, as a, the government, the South Australian government, we want to assist you in whatever way we possibly can for you to reach that potential for South Australia to reach the potential we can reach. Uh, so please, uh, if there's anything I can do to help, uh, have a word to me. I can't stay around for long, but uh, you'll you know, Google Kyam, it's a K-Y-A-M, uh, yeah, it's a pretty uh, different name. You'll be able to find the details to contact my office pretty quickly as a Minister for Manufacturing and Innovation. Quite seriously, if there's anything you think I should know about or anything yeah, as a government we can do, please get in contact. Yeah, that's, that's, I'm a minister and that's what I'm here to do. Um, we want Adelaide and South Australia to be known around the country and around the world as a great place to be an entrepreneur and be in the digital creative industries. So I'm looking forward to meeting some of you in the coming weeks, coming months, the coming years. And uh, if 
anyone's keen, you know, if you've got a good emulator for Jet Set Willy, by all means bring them along to a meeting, because I kick ass at Jet Set Willy. Uh, thanks again for having me here tonight. I hope the forum goes really well, and I hope to hear from uh, all of you in the future. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Professor. And uh, without further ado, I'll... Uh